So in today's video, I am going to be unboxing the most expensive gecko I have ever owned. Ever. And they're right inside this box. What's up creatures, it's Em and welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new to my channel, welcome. My name's Em, I'm a former zookeeper and I am a digital animal educator and vice president of sales and marketing for the UK region of Zen Habitats. But today I am going to be unboxing the most expensive gecko I have ever owned. Ta-da! <laughs> if you're unfamiliar with my videos, I make a lot of different variety type animal videos, animal care, my life keeping animals, creature features where I tell you all different kinds of awesome facts about animals, and I have some pretty awesome collaborations with other animal channels coming up in the next couple of weeks. So feel free to hit that subscribe button down below, become part of the creature crew, and also hit that notification bell down in the corner there so you don't miss a single upload. I also have an Instagram and a TikTok, so if you want to follow me over on those, I would be grateful. Before I unbox the incredible gecko that I know is hidden, hidden just inches from my face, um, I wanna give a massive shout out to the breeder of this gecko. If you are into crested geckos, you might already know them. They are essentially famous in the breeder space because of their quality and their care that goes into creating their geckos. So I wanna say a huge mega incredible thank you to Cryptiles. I am going to link Cryptiles down below. As you all know and have known over the years, I will not work with people who I deem are in any way exploitative of their animals. And honestly, with Cryptiles, they are known for having the highest of highest standards. Thank you so much, Cryptiles, for entrusting this little one to me. I know I know how much work, in fact, actually, no, I don't. I can't even fathom how much work has gone into producing this kind of quality of gecko, so thank you. And if you are interested in purchasing a quality gecko or just learning and like observing from a really incredible breeder, I'm going to link them down in my description box below. I highly recommend them. I have been blown away by them. Everyone I know who is serious about crested geckos knows all about cryptiles. They are one of the best. So thank you so, so much for this. All right, enough of me talking. Let's open up this box and see what my new baby gecko looks like. I can't even talk, I can't even talk. Whew. All right, I don't need to talk. I'll just let this gecko's beauty do all the talking. All right, I've just taken the labels off of the box. Um, just, you know, privacy reasons. But um, on the back here, we can see this is sort of behind the scenes of how geckos are shipped. Um, around the world, that's not always typical. Here in the USA, it's very typical to ship most animals. That's how they end up in pet stores, reptile stores, they're often shipped. Um, and this is how they're shipped. So um, this here, we have a box, and um, this is Reptiles to You. They work with FedEx um, so that you get like guaranteed safe live arrival. This gecko has been in here uh, from last night. It is now 12.30 p.m. my time. Um, and it arrived at the hub at 8 a.m. So it was in transit overnight. That is when it's safest to ship reptiles. It's nice and cool. Um, Corallofaciliatus, or just crested geckos, um, can succumb very quickly to heat, a lot more quickly than other reptiles can. So um, for that reason, these are held at a hub. So while some people get reptiles shipped to their doors, most responsible breeders um, will ship to a hub. Like today I picked up from a FedEx hub, as you can see. And then once you're at the FedEx, they ask you for, you know, like a, an ID so that they can see that you're the person who's supposed to be picking up the animal. And they have to hold it in a room which is temperature um, appropriate and it says that on the box um, so let me see yes um, keep in climate controlled area 60 to 70 degrees so um, 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit not Celsius 
Um, so that's just nice and cool for the gecko. And on the back here we have Corolla faciliatus, that is their, um, uh, their scientific name. I know, I still am a dinosaur and I live back in the days when they were Rachidactylus ciliatus, but they're now Corolophus. Common species name, Crested Gecko. So anybody who's at the hub who's just being nosy can be like, oh, let me ask Siri, what's a Crested Gecko? That's what's in the box. And then over here it says quantity enclosed, and we can see three numbers. This number over here is for the amount of males, so zero. Uh, the amount of females, again, zero, because we don't know if this is a male or a female, but we do know it's a juvenile. So whenever you see these three numbers, it's always males, confirmed males, confirmed females, and juveniles. Let's go on in here. This is more exciting to me than Christmas, okay? Whew. This is gonna be incredible, I just know it. Oh, okay, let me, let me cover this because this over here is my address and I don't need to be putting that on the internet, but immediately we have Cryptiles merch, thank you so much. I mean, we have a sticker and then we have the business card over here as well. So these are the details for Cryptiles if you would like to uh, check them out. But again, their Instagram is down here. And a really lovely note, thank you, Emma. We appreciate you, Kyle and Danielle. Well, thank you, Kyle and Danielle, AKA the amazing team behind Cryptiles. I appreciate you too, um, especially for entrusting this incredible gecko to me. All right, the moment of truth. Let's do this. So um, immediately we have this over here which is just helping to sort of pad out the box so if for whatever reason it gets dropped or or like battered around in transit, um, things are staying in place. So immediately we have this polystyrene, there is a big polystyrene box on the inside that makes everything sit flush with the box, it can't be wiggled around on the inside, and this is still nice and cool which is awesome. It's a cooling pack so that the gecko hopefully doesn't overheat, um, which it shouldn't do because it was shipped you know, at the right time during the right um, temperature breaks in the day. And now, the moment of truth, paper, paper, paper. Paper, 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 wait! Gecko! I see a gecko and I see movement. Hello, darling, welcome! Oh wait, hang on a second. And at the very bottom of the package, some Pangea Crested Gecko Diet. Thank you so much. Um, if you are interested in Pangea and you don't know what they are, they are a complete diet for crested geckos. A lot of different geckos, gargoyle geckos, Lichianus, really love them. It's a powder which you mix with water, it thickens up and then that's essentially a complete diet for crested geckos, although you can supplement with um, dusted crickets, which I do like to do as well as dubia, but um, in a pinch, this stuff is great, just year-round use. There's lots of different kinds of pengeas, lots of flavors, um, and you should also, uh, if you do feed any insects, uh, dust with calcium, um, and the calciums that I use are rapashi, so. Not sponsored, not sponsored, but I really appreciate that, thank you so much. Okay, this is my new baby. I'm actually, you know what? I don't even need to be on camera for this. I'm gonna clear my desk and we are gonna behold the beauty of this gecko and give it complete center stage. Oh my goodness, hello little one. Let's go ahead and take off the lid. Oh my, how breathtaking are you? Oh, please don't run away too quickly. I don't want to freak you out, little one. You can just stay put. I'm not, I wasn't planning on actually picking you up. Now, this here is my brand new crested gecko from Cryptiles. I'm trying not to speak too loudly because crested geckos have even been known to drop their tails when... Oh, a loud noise has happened, like uh, dogs barking. So I'm trying to be as gentle as possible with this little one. You just hang out as much as you want, you're good. Um, I have washed my hands impeccable amounts of time. In fact, my hand is now very dry. Um, but yes, this is my new gecko, look at you. Oh, so this little gecko is a lily white crested gecko. 
Um, the sire of this gecko is a very famous cryptos gecko called Sherbert. I'm going to insert his picture right here. And then the dam is a female called Viral who's absolutely gorgeous. She's really stunning. She's just really high white and has gorgeous pattern all over her. Now, if you're unfamiliar with crested gecko genetics, you never breed two lily whites together. And the reason why you don't breed two lily whites together is it affects the hatch rate of the babies. In fact, um, you're most likely not going to get any babies healthy or hatching out well from any lily white paired to a lily white. So that's why you never see two lily whites put together. At least most ethical breeders will not do that. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, no ethical breeder will do that. Um, so if you are interested in lily whites, be very careful not to be fooled when someone says it comes from, you know, two lily white parents. That's, that's rubbish. You don't want that. Um, so yes, this is a very responsibly bred lily white crested gecko. Um, what really drew me to this particular gecko, because um, cryptiles were good enough to uh, show me a couple of different options um, to introduce into my breeding program, my eventual breeding program, and um, they knew that I was very interested in tricolors, and naturally Sherbet is a tricolor, um, and I just thought that this gecko would be absolutely exquisite. So, I mean, what I really love about this one is you can really see the tricolor on the feet, um, and also you can really see around the edge of the gecko. It's also very white, um, very beautiful, I mean, hence the lily white. Um, and then the head, I mean, it's got gorgeous blue eyes right now. I don't know if you can really see my camera's not really doing much justice. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shuffle really quickly so I can get this little guy or girl into a better position where they don't feel quite so exposed. Okay, time out. Hold the phone for just a second. This is a kind of production slash director's cut choice I'm making just to chill on the excitement for one minute, just to say something really important about mentality behind actually getting animals and also the responsibility of keeping animals. I know, I know, just, just bear with me, it makes me feel better about putting this video out. Now, over the last year, you've seen me bring home one new animal. That was last year in October, and that was Sploot, my crested gecko, who is over here somewhere. Um, but since then, in the last week, um, since you saw my last video, I brought home two new crested geckos. I have Zay, aka Chungosaurus Rex, as well as Banana Bean, who is just stealing everybody's hearts. I love that you love Banana Bean so much. She's a character. The kinds of sleeping positions that sh I find her in is incredible. Um, but I want to say that these are not impulse purchases. These are not animals. I'm just accumulating because I'm waking up like, oh my gosh, I need all the crested geckos. No, this is a breeding idea that I've had for a while. I'm trying to do it properly. Everything is set up. Their enclosures are there. The quarantine is in place. Everything is in order. Um, and I do joke a lot on my Instagram, which is what's prompting me to speak to you about this all the time. Like, I'm up at 2, 3, 4 a.m. sometimes just like going through morph market and, and posting things that I think are wonderful that I would love to keep. Uh, last night I posted about an Aldebras tortoise, Aldabra's tortoise, um, and people were messaging me like, Em, we love you, are you okay? Is your state of like mental health okay? And honestly, I'm probably better than I've been ever. Literally ever, and that's, that's no exaggeration. And for me, I am accumulating animals which are here to serve a purpose, everything is set up for them, but when I'm posting stuff like that, I sometimes forget that people might take it seriously. I'm not just going to randomly bring home a giant tortoise. Um, I'm not just going to randomly bring home any animal. Every animal I bring home has to be carefully thought out, but in the coming 
maybe even weeks um, in the coming months maybe weeks you'll see a lot of huge changes coming in my life there are moves happening there are people happening um, and uh, I, I just wanted to say it's not what you see is the very tip of the iceberg there's a lot more going on so if you are thinking about bringing home any animal please consider it it should be a very long-term commitment serve a purpose or be there for the duration of their life really they should be a lifelong commitment um, and if you do find yourself getting overwhelmed you can rehome your animals responsibly there's nothing wrong in doing that but there there's no shame in in choosing to rehome an animal you can no longer care for circumstances change life happens people change and they just fall out of love with the hobby as well so if that's you and that speaks to you it's okay i'm giving you permission to rehome your animals responsibly if you need to or if you feel like that's something that you want Want to due to whatever reasons that's, that, that's your business not mine or anybody else's um, but at the same time before you do bring home an animal of any sort whether it is a tiny beautiful gecko or a dog or a horse or an aldebras tortoise please do your research please think about the long-term impact that you're going to be having on this animal and how that animal is going to impact you financially long term as well it's not just purchase price they're set up in vets fees and everything else and permits and, and all sorts so please do bear that in mind and now let's get back to my beautiful gecko by the way if you were wondering Wondering what the Pangea mix looks like once it has been created. This is what it looks like once you add water um, in the right ratio. Um, so it be kind of uh, kind of becomes a paste. Um, I batch make mine and keep it in the refrigerator for a couple of days just so that it makes it easier in a squeezy bottle to feed everybody. And I'm going to go ahead and put it inside the hatchling enclosure, which I have set up here. And I'm going to put it underneath where it's nice and private so that the gecko can eat at its leisure. It's going to be down there. And then all I have is, this is a real plant, and every baby crescent gecko I've ever had has loved to just shove itself into small crevices to sleep. So I'm hoping, just the way Sploot did, um, that this gecko will enjoy um, this Janet Craig Dracaena. Then this is a fake plant over here, and um, it's just going to give some additional privacy so that the gecko doesn't see so much movement at night when it might be eating. Um, so hopefully that will encourage it to eat and then there's just this uh, piece of um, cork bark at the back there so that the gecko can easily come up and down even though we all know they can stick very well um, to uh, vertical surfaces which is just going to make it easier so hopefully it'll be able to come down here uh, realize it's nice and private go towards its yummy food underneath and be encouraged to eat really well I am just so besotted with this gecko and I cannot wait to see what they mean for my future breeding project. So if you would like to, then definitely make sure to be following and subscribed. You'll be able to keep up with their progress as they um, mature and as their colors mature and their patterns mature, it's going to be so amazing. And please do make sure um, to go ahead and check out Cryptiles over on Instagram. They really do deserve it. They put so much care love, effort and attention um, into breeding their crested geckos and they just have the most stunning geckos, they really do. So be sure to go and show them some love and I hope I will see you all soon for more updates. And that is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed welcoming my brand new incredible crested gecko into my little animal family. Thank you so much, Cryptiles. I, I, I know what it takes for you to entrust your babies to anybody, let alone one of your sherbet babies. So thank you so much. Please go and follow them. Show them support. The good breeders out there deserve to have all of the support. Thank you so much, Cryptiles. And of course, I will be keeping you on this journey. So as this little one grows, I will be doing constant weigh-ins, updates, showing you how their color changes and develops. Do you think they're gonna have more kind of tri-color, more kind of lily white? Um, what do you think this baby is going to look like growing up? Leave your thoughts down below and we will revisit some of these in the future to see who was right. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in another video soon. Bye.